So let's go ahead and finish this. So we've got our integral from zero to a, root two over a, sine two pi x over a times x times root two over a, sine pi x over a dx, divided by e1, which is h squared over eight m a squared, minus 4h squared over 8ma squared. All right, and so we just, let's do this integral on the top, and uh, we can factor out the square root of 2 over a's, so that'll just be 2 over a out here. And let's plug this into Wolfram Alpha, um, simplify our lives here. All right, Wolfram Alpha. So we will integrate uh, x times sine of pi times x divided by a times sine of 2 times pi times x divided by a dx from x equals 0 to a. We'll let Wolfram Alpha go ahead and do this calculation for us. And our definite integral is equal to negative 8a squared over n pi 9 pi squared. So negative 8a squared over 9, was it? Yeah. 9 pi squared divided by this difference in energies here. So we'll get negative 3h squared over 8ma squared. All right, so we'll get a positive coefficient here. Um, and, you know, this will give us some value. You know, it's going to depend on the exact value of A, um, which isn't too surprising. And this, uh, you know, so if we say, for example, took A equal to 1, uh, this is 1 of whatever unit. Um, let me just pull up a calculator. This is the one I like to use. Um, if you're interested, this is called speed crunch. All right, let's go back to our whiteboard. So we need eight over nine pi squared. All right, um, and then we'll have divided by three h squared. Yeah, I don't want to actually put an h squared. All right, it, so it depends on, on the values of our mass, too, and things like that, right? So, so the, the actual value we get is going to matter. But in the end, right, this is just a number. And this will multiply by psi 2, and that's our correction that we're going to add to psi, psi 1. And we would repeat this, right? This would have to get repeated for psi 3 and psi 4. And you can see why perturbation theory is usually done uh, computationally, right? We let a computer do this for us. This is not something that is generally done by hand nowadays. Uh, and so uh, we can do corrections up to second order. And um, I've used a second order perturbation theory. Uh, so MP2 is Muller plus its second order perturbation theory is a common uh, uh, compu ab initial computational chemistry method that's used.